Day three of competition here in Peru. Paxan USA surf team out at Senoritas, the left-hander all day. Under 16 men first up, then the under 18 women. Big day for us, but it's hard conditions today. Swell has dropped, it's very, very fragmented. It's kind of gonna be a dogfight out there today. And these are the sorts of days that you win by getting higher wave count and really trying to maximize your maneuvers. Fingers crossed for today in Peru. Yeah, I was the first seat this morning and the swell dropped down, so it was a little trickier, more peaky, I had to be on the right spot, so today was a lot about positioning and wave choice because it was a lot more inconsistent and just, just really hard to hit the good waves. Well, I started the heat out with like a 5-5 five, five or something and then it went, I didn't get away for a while and kind of grinded out a three, so it got me back in a second then, and then I got like a five, six, so kind of solidified it, so ended up turning out good. Right after me, it was Colin. Well, have a good time out there. Yeah. Get a few, stay busy, get wave, you know, good wave count. He had a good wave choice, but it seemed on his second turn on a couple ways his foot slipped off or his tail slid out a little too much, but if he just surfs away he knows how to, he'll be doing good. I just had nerves the whole time, I just couldn't get my nerves out of my head, but yeah, I was just looking, just kept looking for a six, but didn't get one. I lost in the main round, so now I go to the repertoire round, which gives you a second chance to get back to it. You pissed off? I have a look at me. Use your anger to motivate yourself. You can win this contest, right? You're not out. You believe me? Have a look at me. Do you believe me you can win? You're a good enough surfer to win this thing. Yeah, after my heat is Canela and uh, well, I don't even watch this heat. <laughs> you need to light up your backup waves. Just surf good clean. You know, solid bottom turns but nice big ass. You, know, you can unleash it a bit off the top. Kinda had a, I was kinda I was all, I was really out of rhythm and yeah, I couldn't really get it together. I don't even know what happened. He got one good, pretty good wave, but didn't really have a backup, so he ended up getting knocked out, so he'll be in the loser's round, but he'll do good too. Yeah, everyone was getting really good deep waves, and I was just kind of in the middle doing nothing, just floating, and uh, every time I'd get a wave, it just like kind of either close out or I'd fall, so I don't know. I watched Taylor's heat, uh, he did really well actually, and then uh, I watched Colin's heat and I watched Kano's heat, and we kind of, it seemed like we all almost kind of did the same thing, we just couldn't really find the right ways it seemed like, and I don't normally like to watch heats before I surf, but since those guys, like, since we're the team and stuff, I wanted to go watch them, and for some reason, like, whenever I watch heats, I get so much more nervous, so I don't know why, I, I kind of, I think I kind of freaked myself out. Just, I mean, you don't, you couldn't even be the best surfer. You could be the worst surfer in your heat, and just go get the best waves, and pretty much just surf them, just to what the waves are allowing you to do, and you know, just make heats from doing that. Because we've seen so many good guys lose today. Well, I think it's more stressful watching the heats than than being in it. Like, just like, oh no, go, no, wait, go, wait, oh no, and <laughs> just whistling and yeah. It's fun though, just seeing how everyone's going and yeah, but it's definitely really stressful. In Parker's heat, because 
some kid got away with the end, which could have passed Parker, but Parker was surfing really crisp, but it's really stressful because we didn't know if he made it or not for about like probably a minute after the heat, and then it's during that time we were just all like devastated, but he ended up getting through, so it was cool. 16s is done for the day, and Taylor and I both made it, and Colin and Bo and Kanoa are in the repo, and then we've got all four girls still going that surf later this afternoon in round two heat. I was the first girl up in round two today. I had a lot of pressure on me not wanting to be the first girl, like, first heat of girls and to lose in that, so I was paddling out all shaky, and then I got my feet and my wax in my first wave and ended up being a pretty good wave. I think I got a 6.5 and I just kept on building uh, to get my backup score after that. So I ended up with two 6.5s and winning the heat. Yeah, when I was coming in, I was probably stuck on the rocks for about 12 minutes. Since it's high tide, like the water's rushing into the rocks, so you have to be either really strong or really skilled to stay onto those rocks. And there's a guy trying to help me, but he had like one of my hands, so I couldn't really pick up my board, and my board kept on getting like washed by the water, just like back into the rock, so I'd fall with it. And I think I got about five really big dings on my board. And yeah, Sean did a pretty good job fixing up my dings. I think I have about eight USA Surf Team stickers on the bottom of my board covering those dings. So, representing my country even more now. After me was Nikki. She was in the next heat right after mine. I guess when I was paddling out, uh, I lost my fin and I didn't realize it till three minutes were left in the heat. And I was, uh, I was just like so frustrated out in the water. I couldn't believe what happened and uh, I was just like, what's going on in my heat? I was sliding out on my ways and it was actually my side fin that I, that fell out. So, but luckily um, the board isn't, the fin box is damaged so I can still ride the board. Okay, hey, hey, just relax. You got another heat, okay? Take a deep breath. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. All right. So you had equipment for, take your jersey back and just take a big breath and, hey, Nikki? Nikki? Come here. Get a big breath. Terrible heat, second chance, okay? You have a second chance. Just think about that. All right? Super bummed, but I still have the rubber charge and um, I'm going to do really well on that. Quincy was next to serve after me. You've got really nice turns, so you'll get fours and fives, okay? And then once you get them solid, then step up a little bit, right? Today, the waves weren't as um, good as it has been, and so it was mostly about just like trying as hard as you can and just never sitting down and getting what you could, and that's what I did. I kind of struggled in my heat and I couldn't really get one that ran all the way through and I ended up getting second and the Australian won and it was pretty close so it was tough, I don't know. <laughs> the next surfer after my heat was Lakey and she did really well, she got an 8 and a 5 I think <laughs> and she ended up winning her heat so that was a good way to finish off the day. Yeah, I just wanted to be able to surf the wave some more. Rounds one and two, it's, I mean, it's always a hard competition, but they're generally the easier heats of the contest, so I just wanted to get a couple waves and get a feel for the, the left, because I haven't gotten to surf it much, so yeah, it worked out. Today, the girls under 18 and the boys under 16 surfed. We lost one girl in the under 18s and two boys in the under 16, so. Hopefully they'll do good in the repertoire charge and make their way up to the finals and have the goal for the gold.